This is Daily Spiritual Gossip, and I'm coming to you because I want to say that, you know, um, I made a video prior about um, all blockages removed, but um, this is me basically saying when your enemies want to see you destroyed, and they work so hard, I mean, literally, they... Um, they work so hard to destroy you. They work so hard to make sure that um, I couldn't work. They tried to make sure I lost my children. I mean, they ganged up on me behind my back for money uh, be to keep their secrets that they had going on. Um, all kind of stuff they were doing. And um, my children and I ended up homeless. Um, we were living in my car, sleeping in motels. Um, like I said, they were blocking my um, employment, um, had me falsely arrested. I went through a lot of, you know, drama, and I ended up having to divorce my, um, my ex, you know. And, um, you know, he was having children with other women. He was doing all this stuff. And, you know, I helped raise his son that he had in a prior relationship with another woman. I even helped bring his mother back from the brink of, you know, her drug addiction. I've done so much, you know. I've always worked, you know, um, and um, I didn't seek revenge. I didn't do any of that. I just walked away, you know. Um, I was being um, divinely guided to walk away. Um, so, you know, and um, since I done, since I did that, excuse me, um, God has made sure that I have a, a place to live. I have a three bedroom, uh, <laughs> and uh, me and my children were no longer homeless. We're doing well. I get to take my children to school in the morning. They were trying to destroy my car, which was the only thing that I owned. <laughs> Him and his father were messing with my battery, doing all kinds of stuff. His father now is sick in bed. He can't even get out of bed. Um, and he's dying of cancer. Um, and, um, you know, um, my ex, he's lost his job. He's getting evicted from the place that he wouldn't allow me to live in in peace because he was making babies with my neighbors. Um, you know, he was having other women uh, try to fight me. I guess they wanted to fight me for him, which was silly. But anyway, um, I walked away and I walked into destiny. I walked into the greatness. And so many wonderful things have happened. I've ran into so many people of all races that have reached out and helped me and my children. You know, um, like I said, I've always worked. So, um, you know, I had to go and get some help from um, some programs and stuff. And, you know, um, I'm not ashamed by that because I needed it. I've never needed before. I've always worked. I've worked two jobs, you know. So, and um, I got into a job program. They're helping me so I can get back to work. And um, I'm trying to, uh, you know, do this whole self-employment thing where, you know, I'm starting my channel. And, you um, I've been, you know, trying to build my channel up and teach other women hopefully how to heal and how to get out of situations like that, um, you know. And um, next is clearing my name. And um, so I've been very blessed, very, very blessed. And I have to say thanks to the Most High and my ancestors, you know, I've been watched over so much and they've had their hand on my life so much you know just just the protection and the guidance and the people that have come into my life are just pure angels you know so you know we're in a very good space right now and um having him call me this morning to ask me for some help it's it's hilarious to me because um everything you wanted from me is is happening in your life. You know, he wanted me not to be able to work. He's door dashing in another woman's car. Um, he didn't want me and my children to have the property that I inherited. I've been fighting, trying to get back everything that's mine. Now he's losing his place. So like I said, you know, everything is, is, is working out. I don't wanna make this video too long, but, um, when you start to heal and you start to become better and you know four for four on the clock and things get better for you you know you you have a you have to say no to the past and the pain don't walk back into that and i don't wish bad on him like i said i let him see his children i'm not 
I make sure it's a safe space for me to drop them off or to be around him because I'm always going to protect myself and, and him, but I don't want to keep, you know, them away from him. It's not, um, it's just not something that I can legally do right now, and it's not something that I would want to hurt my children by doing that. So I'm being an adult about that, which in most cases, if the shoe was on the other foot, I don't think he would be an adult about that with me, but, you know, we, we're different, and that's why I'm blessed. That's why I'm blessed. And all I have to say is, walk in truth, walk in light, stay in goodness, because when you put out negativity, you put out death, you put out greed, you put out all those bad things, that's, one of, that's what's going to be in your life. 555 five, five. if you put out goodness and you walk with the most high you will always be protected always as you can see I didn't miss no meals <laughs> you know I by the grace of God I didn't I, I, I me and my children we never I think one night we slept in a shelter and that's because you know I was trying to save a little money but um we, we never, we were so blessed in so many ways. And I know there's so many other women who, who would have been in my situation, who, who's been in my situation, who had, um, you know, a harder time. But I was so blessed. And I just want to say, you know, keep going. Keep going. Take care.